Welcome to video tutorial of Nege Academy. In this video lecture, we'll talk about DNA replication. How DNA is replicated. What we mean by DNA replication. So before we proceed to the detail of uh, discussion, I would like to remind you to subscribe, share and comment on this video. I hope this video lecture may help biology and biotechnology students. So follow me carefully. Let me talk some basic information about DNA replication. You know DNA is, it is a genetic material. It is a double stranded structure. In that DNA, there is what we call nitrogenous basis, sugar and pentose. When you see nitrogenous basis, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymines are the nitrogenous basis found on DNA. So DNA is it is a genetic information. It is a genetic material. It means that it carries some informations that pass from one parent to the next parent, from one generation to the next generation. There is a genetic information. Genetic information passed from one cell to the next by molecules called this DNA. So the DNA of different organisms differ only in nucleotide sequence. It's the same in all organisms, but the difference is in nucleotide sequences, the nucleotide sequences. It is that nucleotide sequence which determine the product protein or RNA. It is responsible for genetic differences between organisms. Organisms. So to pass one information from one generation to the next generation, the cell must replicate DNA before they can divide. This ensures that each daughter cell gets a copy of the genome. Therefore, there will be successful inheritance of genetic material. Before we see the detail of DNA replication, let us see the cell cycle, how cell can be divided how cell can be divided, what are the stages. Let us see. There are three main phases of cell cycle. The first phase is interface. In this interface, there is gap one phase. There is S, which is denoted as S, synthesis phase, G2, or gap two phase. These are what we call interface stage or phases. What happened in G1 phase? In G1 phase, the cell may increase in size. The cell may increase in size. In S phase or synthesis phase, there will be a growth and DNA replication takes place. In G2 phase, again, there will be growth and final preparation of cell for the division. Generally, these interface stages, it is the stage at which the process of material synthesis and growth takes place. So at G1, G2 phase, cell prepare for the division. After that, it enters to mitosis phase or mitosis stage. So here, there will be division of what you call a chromatin chromatid material, chromo, cro, chromosomes, like that. So many things happen at this stage. After that, the last stage is what we call cytokinesis. Cytokinesis. This is actual division of what we call a cell. Actual division of the cell. So it results in two daughter cells. So anyway, this DNA replication process takes place at this stage, stage of cell um, cycle, which is interface stage at this stage, especially at S phase. So DNA replicates itself. After it replicates, that cell increases in size. Then there will be division of what you call a chromosome. After that, there will be division of actual um, cytoplasm, actual, actual cytoplasm, cytokinesis. Cytoplasm divide, then cytokinesis. So result in two 
doubter said. So what do we mean by this DNA replication? How DNA is replicated? First, what, what do we mean by DNA replication? DNA replication is it the process by which double-stranded DNA molecule is copied to produce two identical DNA molecules. Two identical DNA molecules. There is one parent strand, that parent strand copied into two strands. That is what we call DNA replication. Or the process by which DNA copy itself, copy itself with very high fidelity, with very high fidelity or accuracy. So DNA replication is one of the most basic process that occur within the cell, that occur within the cell. Each time a cell divides, the two resulting daughter cells must contain exactly the same genetic information at the parent cell. To accomplish this, each strand of existing DNA acts as a template strand. Mind you, DNA is a double strand, two strands is connected by hydrogen bond, each of two strands serve as a template. Each of two strands serve as a template. On that template strand, new strand will be synthesized. New strand will be synthesized. So DNA replication is the process by which double stranded DNA molecule is copied into produce two identical DNA molecules. Two identical DNA molecules. Mind you, the difference is only nucleotide sequences. The same genetic information. But the difference is only nucleotide sequences. So that is what we call DNA replication. Actually, there are different models of DNA replications or different ideas like conservative, dispersive, and the semi-conservative. For example, according to conservative, DNA replication is it is exact copy. Just like we make a paper photocopy. Nothing is changed. Nothing is changed. That is what we call conservative. In this perceive, it is something random. There is a breakage, there is random association of the fragments. That is dispersive. The accepted model which is working is the semi-conservative model. In semi-conservative model, a single strand of DNA serves as a template for a new strand. This is a double strand. Double strand. This is one template strand. This is another template strand. So a single strand of DNA serves as a template. So new strand will be synthesized on this double strand. On this strand also. Look. Look at here. This also synthesized on this strand. It copied into two. First, there will be separation process. After that, there will be synthesis of uh, new strands. How it is separated, what factors, triggers, we'll see in another video actually. So anyway, this strand separated into two. Then new strand will be synthesized upon this existing strand which is serve as a template. So it divides into two. Again, this strand also replicate. It divided into two. Okay, this is the first replication. This is the second replication. So anyway, replication occurs following the base pairs rule. Adenine pair with thiamine, cytosine pair with uh, guanine. So it is very specific. It follow these rules. For example, look at here. This is a template strand. This is a template strand. It is a double strand. It is a template strand. Look, this strand will be replicated. Replicated. First, it will be separated. Then after that, this new strand will be synthesized. GATC. CTAG, look at here. GATC, CTAC, AG. So this will be separated, then new strand will be synthesized upon this strand. 
just c will come and attach with this t will come and attach with a a will come and attach with t g will come and attach with c so new strand is synthesized upon this existing strand this existing strand serves as a template again on another strand there will be sentences of the what we call a new strand here g a t c so upon this c will come and attach it here t will come and attach so a new strand will be synthesized so in such a way replication process uh, carried out so finally it form what we call a one strand another strand will be formed at here in such a way replication is carried out so it is something what we call a semi conservative it is not um, what we call a conservative again it is not a dispersive it is a semi conservative way so what are requirements there are some requirements for this dna replication the first requirement is a strand of dna which serves as a template which serves as a template for example this is a strand these two strands serve as a template upon this temp template the new strand will be synthesized so this template strand is the first requirement is the first requirement is the other requirement is what we call a substrate adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine deoxyadenine triphosphate deoxyguanine triphosphate deoxycytosine triphosphate deoxythiamine triphosphate so these are substrates these are substrates so unless these substrates are provided new strand never formed never formed never formed so these substrates are another requirement is the other very important is the enzyme especially we call it what we call dna polymerase this enzyme it brings this substrate to the strand what you call a template strand it brings nitrogenous bases adenine guanine cytosine thiamine they bring these substrates at the important positions at the important position mind you it bring for example if here is a guanine dna polymerase brings this cytosine at this position if this is adenine it bring what you call thiamine if here is thiamine it brings adenine if there is cytosine it brings what you call a guanine so it brings important substrates actually for that matter it requires a primer it requires a primer it require what you call a primer it require what you call a primer actually this primer is it is also another requirement is primer is it is a short nucleic acid sequence that provides a starting point for dna synthesis it is a short nucleic acid sequence that provides a starting point for dna synthesis the question is the question is is a primer rna or a dna this is the question is it rna or a dna this is the question let me answer it you know in living organisms primers are short strand of rna they are short strands of rna there are around 5 to 15 nucleotides long they are not dna the reason is there is no dna primers in nature in cellular dna there is no dna primers there is no dna primers so made by a form of rna polymerase called a primers when replication begin primers synthesize what we call a primer that primer help 
to start what you call a replication a replication a replication actually in a PC, pcr in artificial dna replication primers are a dna mind you the reason in natural cell why primers are not rna is naturally they are no dna primers non availability of dna primers in cellular dna replication in artificial dna replication especially in pcr primers it is a single strand dna so it will be synthesized and used in laboratory because dna primers are actually more stable than rna actually they are more stable than rna look at here this is a, a, what you call a template this is a template one strand but there is no primer no dna synthesis no dna synthesis because if there is no primer there will be no synthesis even though template is dna polymerases nitrogenous bases are available if there is no primer dna synthesis never and ever takes place never takes place look at here here is a primer so new strand will be uh, formed at here dna synthesized look it is synthesized it is synthesizing from five to three direction synthesis takes place so primers determine which part of dna is copied actually it has free hydroxyl group free hydroxyl group so it begin the replication and after replication started it will be removed it will be removed actually i will provide the detail of how it is removed so anyway it will be removed after the replication is takes place anyway to begin the replication that free oh group is very important so this primer provide a free oh group at this position then DNA polymerase synthesize a new strand synthesize a new strand look at here this is a DNA template here is a primer primers synthesize RNA primer this RNA primer provide free hydroxyl group at here so after that DNA polymerase synthesize new DNA strand synthesize new DNA strand so the purpose the importance of RNA primer is it provide free OH group free OH group so once that free OH group is available phosphate will be attached then synthesis takes place with the help of DNA polymerase DNA polymerase in such a way synthesis takes place especially in prokaryotic cell in eukaryotic cell also the same thing even though there is a difference actually the detail of uh, this um, discussion i will provide the, another video so anyway primer provide free hydroxyl group new dna synthesis begin here dna polymer is alpha takes part in synthesis of new strand finally it will be formed it will be formed so anyway this replication process is it is a semi discontinuous on leading strand it is a continuous in lagging strand it is a discontinuous so that lagging strand form what we call okazaki fragment is its direction is bidirectional two directional anyway the process is from 5 prime to 3 direction the reason is at the three position of sugar particularly pentose there is free oh group so new phosphate will be attached at that free oh group free oh group in such a way nucleotide elongate elongate so anyway it is a bidirectional it is a semi discontinuous semi discontinuous look at here this is replication fork it is bidirectional this is a leading strand leading strand if leading strand is synthesized from 5 prime to three direction continuously the lagging strand synthesized discontinuously like this like this 
Then after it synthesizes, after it reach here, it return back and come here, start synthesizing at this in such a way. Okazaki fragment will be formed. Okazaki fragment will be a formed. So it is away from the replication fork. As you can see, it is away from the replication fork. From the replication fork. This is a replication fork. Replication begin here. There is an enzymes. So many enzymes. I will provide it. For example, helicase enzymes. It cut. It separate. After that, primers provide free hydroxyl group. Then synthesis begin. Then DNA polymerase synthesize. After that, primers will be removed by some enzymes. Ligase will fill this gap. Anyway, I, I will provide a detail. So from this diagram, what I want to tell you is it is a semi-discontinuous. One strand synthesized continuously from five to three direction. The other strand synthesized discontinuously. It is away from the replication fork. Away from the replication fork. Look at here. Five prime, AT, GC, TA, three prime. This will be three prime, T, A, C, G, A, T. Five prime like that. So anyway, Okazaki fragment could be formed at here. So it synthesizes like this. It synthesizes after it reach this area, it turn back and synthesize. Then the gap will be formed at this position. Again, it synthesizes. The gap will be um, the gap will be uh, formed. The gap will be uh, look at here. Um, for example, for example, synthesize like this. Anyway, anyway, um, uh, the gap will be formed. That gap is what we call uh, Okazaki fragment. Okazaki uh, fragment. This is a replication fork. In such a way, uh, synthesis takes place. Next video, we'll try to answer the following questions. What triggers DNA replication? How it is initiated? Where does replication begin? Is the replication process the same or different in prokaryotes and eukaryotes? How it is terminated? What are the enzymes? We will see. Thank you for watching this video. Like it, comment and share it to your friend. Thank you very much.